Hey lovelies! Okay, so first there's apparently a fire somewhere. <laughs> no problems all day until I said that I'm going to start doing an update. So... <laughs> Uh, let me close the door. Oh, it's gone. Look at that. So uh, there's our blooper. I guess I could have just cut that out and used it as the blooper, but I didn't. Um, so I've seen a lot of people doing these 25 questions and 20 questions and all these other things, and I thought maybe I would... Um, them for you I guess I thought it would be a lot of fun uh, I thought it would be really entertaining and yeah so the very first question is what is your middle name my middle name is Diane it's Samantha Diane Lozon a long time ago after I changed it from my birth name which if you know it you know it if you don't too bad um, <laughs> a long time ago we when I, when I first changed my name, it was Samantha Marie Bailey Lozon. The Marie was because it was my mother's middle name, and Bailey was actually the last name of um, a guy that I knew that I had really liked, and he was really nice to me. So I decided that I would do Samantha Marie Bailey Lozon. Um, then, unfortunately, I had some trouble with the law, and I went to jail. And before I went to jail, I opted to change my name legally back to my birth name so that I wouldn't have any issues while I was in jail. Um, yeah. So then I changed it back to Samantha. And, you know, the Diane, I don't know where Diane came from, except for I thought it signed really nice. <laughs> I feel so superficial saying that. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it signed very nice, so I decided that I was going to um, use it. Oh my God, it's so hot. Okay. Um, what was my favorite subject at school? Uh, my very favorite like top of the line subject um, in school was English media. Uh, it was at Sir Johnny McDonald in Hamilton, Ontario. We had this really great teacher. And the really cool thing was that actually most of the stuff we watched was my collection. Um, we watched Black Adder, which was mine. We watched Faulty Towers, which was also mine. My teacher had asked students if they happened to have certain things. This way he wouldn't have to use the budget to rent them so that we could have a better party at the end of the year. And so I happened to have a lot of the movies and shows that you wanted to watch so there you go we watched it and uh yeah um my favorite drink is um my favorite alcoholic drink i have two it's jagger or cake vodka i love both of them mm -hmm. and my favorite non-alcoholic drink believe it or not is just milk plain white skim milk nothing in it nothing done to it just plain white milk I love it. Um, you, it's actually, it's funny because my boyfriend catches me all the time in the fridge um, with the bag to my mouth, guzzling away at the milk. I love milk. Um, next question. What is my favorite song of the moment? And my favorite song of the moment right now is by uh, Nicole Scherzinger. Scherzinger? Sh fuck, say that ten times fast when you're sober. Say it five times fast when you're fucking drunk. Um, my favorite song right now is uh, Run by Nicole Scherzinger. If you haven't heard it, um, it's, it's brilliant. It's really beautiful. Um, my favorite food is chicken. I honest to God, I, I probably cook chicken at least two or three times a week. It's my favorite thing to cook. My boyfriend's favorite food is steak. So we try to get that in there as much as possible. But chicken, um, you know, I know I talk about having grown up poor a lot, but the thing is that my mom, chicken was always a very affordable meat, right? So my mom would buy a lot of chicken. So there you have it. Um, the last thing I bought was a Clinique Repairwear Anti-Gravity Eye. It is my messiah of eye creams. I love it. Um, 
it's amazing. The, the texture is amazing. It dries very fast. It's not greasy. So yeah, and it comes in like a really nice little package. And the really cool thing now is that you can actually buy two sizes of ice, eye cream. So for the longest time, you could only buy one size of eye cream, which was I think like the 5ml or something stupid like that. But now they've sort of upped it. So I think I think the one that I have is the 30ml. It's actually the bigger one, which costs... Um, Let's see. I think it was 90 some odd dollars or a hundred dollars. But reality is, is that it's an eye cream that I use so much of that buying two of those packages of the regular one would have actually cost me an extra 50, 60 dollars. So it's actually really great to do the bigger, bigger packaging. It's really smart. Um, uh, my favorite book of all time is Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People. I read it when I was really young and um, going through some issues at home with my mom. I, I, um, I had a lot of problems at home. My mom didn't quite get the whole transgender thing. Well, she didn't get the gay thing first. Because, you know, when I came out at 13 years old, I came out as gay first and then came out as trans. So my mom didn't have a lot of understanding. I mean, over the years, my mother got better with it. But um, but I, I, I needed to learn how to fight with my mom in a productive way. I needed to learn how to talk to her in a productive manner. And the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, was, was very influential in helping me do that. I actually have given that book away as a gift to friends who I feel are sort of losing their way. Because um, I think it's great. Also, I also love The Alchemist and Anything by Dean Koontz. Um, his reimagining of Frankenstein was brilliant, to say the least. Brilliant. Um, what's my favorite color? Oh gosh, I wish I was wearing it tonight, but I'm not. My favorite color is pink. I honest to God, I have, I have everything pink. My, my keyboard for my surface is pink. Um, you can't see it, but right off the camera, right over there, I have a, a file folder thing that's pink. My TV entertainment unit thing down here is pink. So I have a lot of pink in my house. Because I love pink. I'm a girl like that. I can't help it. Not to say that you can't like black and be a girl or you can't like blue and be a girl. Because I do love blue as well. As you can see, my nails are blue. Um, but yeah, pink, of course. Do you have any pets? I do. And you generally only see one of them. And here's the reason why. Let me show you. Lucky, come here. Come on, bud. Come here, bud. Come on, Luck. Come here. So Lucky, Lucky can be picked up. Lucky can be hugged and squeezed and loved and everything like that. And he'll sit patiently with me and have a good time. That's Lucky. Now, I can't hold him up for long because he'll get very upset. Charlie, come here. So this is why he's never on camera. Um, yeah, he, he doesn't like you at all. The reason why Charlie behaves like that is because when he was a puppy, he had parvo. And for those of you who don't know what parvo is, parvo is basically botulism for dogs. It eats them from the inside out. They bleed. Um, it's really terrifying and really horrifying thing to happen. And so he had it as a puppy. And ever since then, I've heard from several different people and my vet that, um, unfortunately, when a dog has parvo, they generally have stomach issues afterwards. They, they generally don't like their stomach being touched or anything like that so so he's like that he'll cuddle with me in bed but he he'll let out a growl first um yeah so that's why you only ever see lucky on camera um yeah maybe one day we'll get a nice a nice little dog bed we'll put them right there and you can see them all the time how about that um my favorite perfume well my absolute favorite perfume of all time not just because it has julia roberts in the commercial and because i love julia roberts it's actually la vie belle by lancome um it is my all-time ultimate perfume um i have worn others and loved them i used to love a uh, terry mugler um angel um and i loved the i loved burberry um there was a prada one that i really really liked but something about this one you know i've gotten more compliments wearing levier bell than anything else and it actually smells like another one um i think it's like a givenchy or something like that uh that everyone thought yeah i used to like prada candy that was the one 
Um, my favorite holiday. Um, my absolute favorite holiday was Christmas and still is Christmas. Although without my mom, it, it doesn't quite feel the same. And the thing is, is that, you know, anyone that knows me, anyone that's followed me for a long time knows that my mother, um, didn't always show up for Christmas. She, uh, over the, over the last couple of years, she sort of backed out of a lot of things. Um, but you know, my mom made Christmas magic when we were kids, my sister and I, it was just something, it was so magical. And so Christmas has been and will always be my favorite holiday uh, of the year, for sure. Am I married? No. What you see here is the optical illusion of the fact that the camera actually flips what you're seeing. So this is actually my right hand, not my left, which would be the married hand. This is my left. There's no ring there, just in case, because it always confuses people. Um, have I ever been out of the country? And how many times? Yes, actually, I've been to Paris. It was the very first trip of my entire life um, as an adult. I had been to Nashville and all these other places as a kid, but I don't really remember them. Um, but as an adult, Paris, and luckily, which was really cool, I had stopovers in Germany and London, so I got to go into those airports too. So it was it was a lot. It was very exciting. Um, do I speak any other language? Uh, je parle un peu le français, mais je parle très bien anglais. So I, I have friends that text me in French, which is really cool. Uh, I have a new neighbor who texts me in French. She's actually from France. Hello, Allison. Um, and uh, so it's really cool. I have friends that are really helping me because when I was young, we spoke French a lot. We didn't speak French every day, but we spoke French enough that I, I understand French. And so I want to get back into learning it because I want to go back to Paris and I, I don't want to have to have a guide. I just want to go and have a good time. And I want to understand when they're talking bad about me in the restaurants. Um, how many siblings do I have? I have one amazing sister. Her name is Brenda. Um, and I have two nieces, Olivia and Daniela. Hi, ladies. And a great brother-in-law named Danny. He's, he's really nice. Um, what is my favorite shop? So what's my favorite place to shop? I have to say the clearance department of the Bay. I know it's very ghetto of me and I don't really care, but if I can get a $700 purse for 163, I'm gonna fucking get that purse, okay? Um, yeah, so my suggestion is always go to the Bay, go to their clearance department, you're gonna find purses and everything else in there. I got um, this amazing Lord and Taylor scarf that actually looks like uh, an Alexander McQueen scarf. It was regular $125. I got it for, I think, $17.50. It was, it was so, so cheap. It was amazing. Um, so yeah, my favorite restaurant, my favorite, my absolute favorite restaurant has got to be Byzantium at Church and Wellesley. Um, the staff there are amazing. The food is incredible. I have eaten there so many times. I believe her name is Christine. Hi, Christine. I believe um, she can actually walk up to me and ask if I want the usual and, and know exactly what I want, which is really sort of nice. Um, I order the exact same thing every time I'm in. I start with the Bisbeet salad which is two different kinds of pureed beets molded with um, a warm sort of like goat cheese, um, feta and some pistachios. It's amazing. I promise you, you will not go wrong getting this salad if you go there. Then I always have the kangaroo. Um, they used to have ostrich, but then they stopped selling ostrich because apparently the person who was providing the ostrich to all the other restaurants as well decided they wanted to up the price, so they went with kangaroo. Good job, guys. To drink while I'm there, I always have the Buzz Stop um, Martini. If you haven't had it, try it. But do yourself a favor. Actually try it with just coffee instead of the espresso in it. It's actually really good. So it's good both ways, the espresso or with the coffee, but try it. You'll, you'll, I promise you'll love it. And it comes with a little chocolate straw that you get to eat afterwards. I don't know, I like my desserts. And now, of course, for the dessert that I have while I'm at Byzantium on Church Street, I always go with the white pepper cheesecake. Um, 
I've only ever had one bad experience with it there and I think I was pretty hammered so I just couldn't enjoy it but yeah um, that's my meal when I go there I have the exact same thing every time um, yeah so when was the last time I cried uh, the last time I cried was last night when I watched the fault in their stars with my boyfriend um, it was amazing and you know a movie like that listen it's 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 pop culture bullshit we get it you know love happens blah 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 it was nice to see an imperfectly perfect beautiful love story if that makes any sense um you know they both had cancer and you know things were happening and uh it, it was just a really beautiful movie to watch and if you haven't seen it go watch it it's on netflix right now Actually, The Fault in Their Stars, I say actually a lot, I'm so sorry. Um, the Fault in her, Their Stars, Her Stars, The Fault in the Stars, Their Stars, I don't even know. Uh, the Fault in Their Stars um, actually came out on Netflix the day it came out on demand. So there you have it, folks. Canadian Netflix is starting to up their game. They're getting a little bit better. I hear they're still not as good as the States, but I'm not going to complain. I'm, I'm happy. Um, and now... Oh. Uh, my favorite blog I don't have a favorite blog folks I am on Facebook Twitter Instagram all day and every day and I really don't have a favorite thing to um, follow or anything like that I do I, I, I am now slowly becoming addicted to vine so I would have to say uh, Curtis Lepore on vine he's funny he's very funny um, favorite movie I have two Maleficent and Notting Hill I love Julie Roberts and Hugh Grant. I think they make a great team together on camera. And uh, Maleficent is probably one of the greatest movies I've ever seen of, of all time. Uh, favorite TV show? I have uh, two of them. Archer, of course, because I fucking love Archer. And Elementary. I've actually had conversations on Twitter with Lucy Liu. How amazing is that? And one time Gina Gershon jumped in. It was kind of cool. It was. I had a very big fan moment. My boyfriend kept laughing at me. Um, PC or Mac? I am a PC user. If you're wondering why I'm going so fast right now, it's because my battery is dying and I can see it dying and I want to make sure I get everything in all at once. So I apologize for going so fast. PC or Mac? Um, I currently own um, a couple of different systems. I own the HP Pavilion 23-inch touchscreen. I own Microsoft Surface um, 2. I own an I the iPad 2, iPhone 6 Plus. So I think I'm mixed between desktop, PC, and uh, Apple. I love them all. Um, the phone I just the phone I use I just answered it. It's the iPhone 6 Plus. How tall am I? I'm six foot one, which is why you almost never see me in high heels during the day because I feel like I look like a transvestite or something. Can I cook? Absolutely. You've all seen some of my videos uh, of me cooking. We're actually going to start a new cooking segment soon enough. It's just a matter of getting Angelo to be able to have the time to do it because a cooking segment can take a lot of time. We've got to worry about lighting and all that other stuff and make sure everything is perfect because I never, ever, ever want to put something out online that I don't feel is perfect in my eyes. Um, I'm not saying that I'm perfect because I am so not even close to perfect, but I'm saying I want it to be consistently good, you know? I want my videos and everything else to be consistently good. And the thing about producing them ourselves is that Wait, are we still on? Are we still going? Oh! Still staying connected. All right, I am going to get off right now and I'm going to say as always, please don't forget to comment, share and subscribe. I will catch you all on the flip side, lovelies. Mwah. I love you. Bye.